When I came into office, I promised to look at the world's challenges with open eyes and very fresh thinking. We cannot solve our problems by making the same failed assumptions and repeating the same failed strategies of the past. All challenges demand new approaches. My announcement today marks the beginning of a new approach to conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. In 1995, Congress adopted the Jerusalem Embassy Act, urging the federal government to relocate the American embassy to Jerusalem and to recognize that that city, and so importantly, is Israel's capital. This act passed Congress by an overwhelming bipartisan majority and was reaffirmed by unanimous vote of the Senate only six months ago. Yet for over 20 years, every previous American president has exercised the law's waiver, refusing to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem or to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital city. Presidents issued these waivers under the belief that delaying the recognition of Jerusalem would advance the cause of peace. Some say they lacked courage, but they made their best judgment based on facts as they understood them at the time. Nevertheless, the record is in. After more than two decades of waivers, we are no closer to a lasting peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. It would be folly to... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Lever, the Gothic Republican, here to say uh, that I agree with Donald Trump's and Israel decision to move the capital to Jerusalem. The American embassy moving to Jerusalem. And I, I'd be honest with you. Of course, the CNN, fake news, networks, and all these news organizations, they're going to blame it on Donald Trump because of all the radical Islamic terror attacks towards Israel. Look, this issue has been around for decades and decades and decades. But no, it's all Donald Trump's fault. All is Donald Trump's fault. All the time. And it's the ignorance and the dumb thought it is from the... The alt left, the media, and the ignorance they have, the never Trumpers, they rather to see Israel fall and make Donald Trump look bad, to order to say so they could be, oh, I'm right. The answer is no, you're not fucking right. We're moving the American embassy, if you fucking like it or not, and it's our American embassy. We're not telling anybody what to do or any other country to do. We're just moving our nimb our American embassy somewhere else. There's no issue. should be no problem. The only problem who has a problem with it is the Islamic extremist and the media. I mean, how sad that you really have to be mainstream media to lie yourself with Islamic extremists. You might as well be in the... The same side with Nazis. Even if Adolf Hitler was still around, hypothetical question, a dictator. You'd rather choose the dictator over Donald Trump any day. You chose Kim Jong-il over Donald Trump any day. A person who kills millions of people, who lets their own people starve to death in North Korea, but Trump's the bad guy. The hypocrisy and the ignorance of the fake news media. Because he calls you out on your bullshit and you don't like it. And this is the one thing I don't like. This is the one thing I dislike. Oh, there's Islamic extremist violence. There's there's hope. There's there's restaurants closing uh, closing down. There's violence on the streets. Was this blame Trump because he said something supposedly stupid? No, he was stating common sense. Facts. Okay? What he said, other presidents, other people in office has said before. 
They haven't followed through for it. Because, you know why? Because they cave in after a while when they sit there and said they're going to move the American embassy and they cave in from their party, from other people, and they said, nope, we had to cancel it. But Trump is going to follow through it, fall through for it, and I'm happy for that. This man is a man of the people. We have lower taxes now for all classes so we can get the economy better back in shape. And how you think lowering taxes and moving our American embassy is a bad idea. That puzzles me, of all means. It puzzles me. Lesser taxes, more money in our pockets. How's that bad? And this is, and this is the one thing I don't get. That he said Trump's saying something controversial and stupid. Well, uh, look at this video. By recognizing, by recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Who would do such a thing? Jerusalem is still the capital of Israel and must remain an undivided city accessible to all. As soon as I take office, I will begin the process of moving the United States ambassador to the city of Israel as chosen as its capital. I continue to say that uh, Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel, and I have said that before, and I will say it again. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel. Oh. An unbelievable one. The media, the alt left identity politics media, has turned their back on Israel and their empty, and of course, they always throw around their empty promises. But the alt left and all these jackass libtards want to go around and blame Donald Trump as this neo Nazi white supremacist. KKK member, but yet he's helping, he's helping out Israel. Israel is the state of the Jews. That should tell you something that the left doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about, and they're blaming on whole point of mass hysteria. It shows me how anti-Semitic the left is now turning into. They become anti-Semitic because Donald Trump is doing this. Supporting Israel. So, acknowledging Israel in their capital. And then it shows me the left is just as bad as the Islamic extremists. They took the side of ISIS. Literally of ISIS. And, and, and so many presidents before in the past, Obama, Bill, Bush, have done this before. What's the big change now? What's the big change? But of course, you don't even look into the facts. You don't even... It's the ex ignorance of uh, this alt-leftist ideology that, oh, if, if Trump supports Israel, we're going to go against Israel. Can we have some common ground? You would think we have some common ground to go to support a country has been attacked several times by Islamic terrorists, but you picked the Islamic terrorist. Really? 